Warning, the following game contains content not suitable for younger viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello fellow YouTubers, and welcome back to Resident Evil Blind. On the last episode, we went through that maze in the laboratory. Turned out there was a lot of creepy crawly monsters in there, but and we died to them because we didn't know what they were. But we managed to wake our way through that. Uh, turn on the power to the elevator, I think. I mean, we don't actually know because we haven't went to the elevator yet. But we also got the last passcode, which brought us over to that other... We got all the passcodes, we put them in that machine, went past that door and found out that Chris is alive. Uh, but he's stuck in a jail cell and we don't know how to open it yet, so... Yeah, we're going to have to try to figure out how to open that up now. <laughs> or soon, I guess. How do we open that door up? All right, so let's see. I uh, have plenty of ammo. Six. Let me, let me put away my ink ribbons. <laughs> I said I was going to said I was gonna wait until morning or afternoon to record the next episode. I didn't. It's like, it's like, it's like 30 minutes later. <laughs> I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. We're just going down the elevator, right? Ah, oh, but we have, to, we have to take care of this tyrant thing, I think. Doesn't sound friendly. With the name Tyrant? Eh. <laughs> I got I got afraid because it was a quarter. There's a switch. Will you push it? Yes. Jill. Jill, you're here too. Yes, you're here too? Look, uh, I lost my way. Let's get going. Hey, Barry's back! Awesome! Hey, uh, maybe we should tell Barry we found Chris. You know, maybe it'll put his mind at ease. It's like, hey, Barry, found Chris. Uh, wanna help him? Wanna help him? Help me break him out of jail? Wesker. You did a fine job, Barry. Just as I thought. I think you should stay away from Barry, Jill. I hear that his wife and two daughters will be in danger if he doesn't do everything I tell him to. You are so cruel. Well, you don't have to worry about anything, because you'll be free from this world very soon, Jill. Why do you have to destroy stars? That's Umbrella's intention. This laboratory has been engaging in dangerous experiments, and recently an accident has occurred. Anyway, this disaster cannot be made public. Oh, that's why having stars nosing about is so inconvenient. So you're a slave of Umbrella now, along with these virus monsters. I think you misunderstand me, Jill. To me, the monsters you mentioned mean nothing. I'm going to burn all of them together with this entire laboratory. I must complete my mission as ordered by Umbrella. Barry, go up on the ground and wait there. Barry! Barry's such a fool. He'll be under the control of Umbrella forever. How come both Umbrella and you can intimidate him by taking his family as hostages? Umbrella? Well, I intimidated him, but it had nothing to do with Umbrella. I just used him for my personal purposes, though both you and Barry seem to think I was following orders from Umbrella. So you're planning something else? If you succeeded in developing the world's most powerful biological weapon, what would you do? What if you were in charge? You must stop this now. You're a brave girl. But if I were you, I wouldn't give up such a big discovery. You guys are idiots. No one understands its real value. So, you're going to steal all the research? <laughs> Better yet, I'm going to show you the tyrant. Oh! Sorry, Jill. How is your family? Uh, I was listening to what you and Wesker were talking about. I wish I realized it earlier. I thought it must have something to do with Umbrella, you know. 
So it's all been masterminded by him. But it's good that you know that now. Anyway, let's get out of this house first. Jill! Yes, what? Do you have any idea what Wesker was going to show you at the back of this place? Well, he was talking about the world's most powerful biological weapon, called Tyrant or something, I, I think. Do you think we could see Tyrant now? Barry, you're so optimistic. It would look bad for stars if we let such a dangerous creature run loose. Maybe you're right. Let's go then. What just happened? I'm so confused. Hold on. <laughs> I need a breather. Can a creature like this really be the ultimate biological weapon? Really? Wesker is a crazy man. Tyrant is not completely developed. But we can't let it live. That must be the computer for monitoring this creature. corners, you idiot. Ow. Ow. Did... <laughs> I just started shooting it. Where's my health at? I'm at caution. Uh... I, I shot him five times with the rocket. Rocket's OP. I want... Uh... Barry died, I think. Maybe I should go check. No, not... not I didn't mean check the... <laughs> I didn't mean check the ammo. <laughs> Nope, I still didn't mean it. Okay, so hold on. Hold on. While I have a chance to finally breathe, uh, let's see. Wesker, we knew it was bad. Barry, didn't know it was bad. Uh, Barry was held, being held prisoner by Wesker. Didn't know that. <laughs> Barry didn't know that Wesker was just talking out of his butt, apparently. And that his family is safe. I'm not sure what that meant. Otherwise, why would a Barry attack Wesker? If Barry attacked Wesker, then wouldn't his family pay for it? I'm still checking this thing. Why? And so then we tried to kill this thing by trying to shut it down, but Barry accidentally started it up. Sounds like a Barry thing to do. Uh, and then he got possibly killed. I'm afraid this thing's going to stand up when I turn around. Please don't turn. Please don't stand up. Barry? 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 You're alive! Uh, 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 I'm really embarrassed. I was clumsy. Let's get going. Barry's alive! Yay! Why are you backing up? <laughs> what did I do? Oh god, oh god, oh god. No, never mind. <laughs> okay, can I should I toy with this? It looks like the control device for this room. All right, well, whatever. Guess, guess we killed the tyrant. Isn't that what? No, that's not what Wesker wanted. Speaking of Wesker, I mean, I still don't know if he's dead or not. 
He just got hit in the back of the head. Oh, oh. Did the body just leave? Oh, no, it's still there. It's still there. Camera angle just hit it. Okay, well. All right, I'm a caution. I don't know what to expect. What happened to Wesker? Wesker must have set it off. There's not much time left for us. Ah, oh, crap. Of course. Oh, that's not good. I don't want to be timed. This feels like it's going to be timed or something. Like we're, it's, it's like Metroid Prime 2, where we just set off the alarm, and now it's about to explode everywhere. Or I guess like Metroid, like any Metroid, I guess. All right, but what about Chris? Uh, should we worry about Chris? I feel like we should worry about Chris. Oop, wrong way. Maybe, wait, maybe because the alarms are going off, the door opens. Like what we needed to do for the upstairs door? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, you're still alive. Please don't die now. What's my health at? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna use this. Okay. I, I was I was prepared for zombies. I was not prepared for that. Oh god, another one. Is it still alive? Nope. <laughs> I, I mean, yes, it was, but I hit it four times. What? Oh, that's just a waste of ammo. These things are probably scattered all throughout the area. How much ammo do I? Uh, I'm out. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to grab the rest of my ammo. Chris, I'm I'm gonna hope that you're still here and Wesker didn't run off with you. Please don't, please, please, please be here. The okay, door's unlocked. That's not really a good sign because Wesker could have unlocked it. Music, on the other hand. Oh, Jill. Sorry for keeping you waiting. So everything is done? Well, almost yes. Now let's go. So, could I have completely, like, ran past and completely forgot about Chris? Like a save, kill the animals, animals thing from Super Metroid? That, that'd be sadistic. It's like, hi, Chris, I'll rescue you. Why, wait, hold on. Why didn't, why didn't Chris open up the door? It's unlocked. Maybe he just didn't know? Let's go. I'm so nervous. I feel like there's a secret timer, so I'm hurrying. Also, why did why, Chris? Why'd you go ahead? I have a rocket launcher in my hands. You have no gun. <laughs> All right, please hurry up. Please, please hurry up. Yes, yes, yes. We're climbing the stairs very slowly. I know. Ah, oh, crap. You know, uh, I'm I'm low on ammo, so I'm just gonna switch to this. Plus, you're just zombies. I'm a good shot. <laughs> Man, I'm a good shot. <laughs> three shots, three kills. Where's Barry at? Let's go. Okay, I just started to unlock all rooms for evacuation because I finally started paying attention to what the siren said. All right, uh, combine that with that so I have more inventory space. But we're going to... Oh, good thing there's a box here. Maybe I should take everything I can. I feel like we're at the end goal. Let's see. Uh, mixed herbs? Sure, why not? First aid spray? Yeah, of course. More ammo? Yes. Acid rounds. There we go. Anything else? Do we need lighter? Probably not. Uh, hex crank? Yeah. Square crank? No. Shotgun, shells. As much as I have of these, I feel like the rocket's better. Yeah, am I really gonna pretty this? No, I don't care. We have we have health. We're good. We have plenty of health. In case I run into any more of those crawler things. I mean, the door's right here. Hey, 
Chad Berry's here. The gang's all together. Yay. At least we get to finally find out what's behind this door. Can we just, like, leave out the other way? Excuse me, gentlemen. So they both head back outside because I said that out loud. This is Brad! Running up here! If there is anyone alive, contact me now! Okay? This is Brad! Okay? I barely heard that over the sound of the radio. He said, contact him now. Where am I at? Oh, that's a long hallway. No, hold on. I can't use it. The battery is still charged. Oh, I, I guess I have to be outside in order to use it. Excuse me. Nope. Walls. <laughs> well, I guess I'm going to need this because I need to. I can pick it up. What is it? It's a battery. <laughs> oh, good job, Wesker. It's like, oh, I'll just move the battery five feet away. Who knows? They'll never think about it. There is three minutes until explosion. Oh no! You must be kidding! After we've come all the way here! Ladies first! Go first, Jill! But Chris! Give me a chance to play nice guy. Okay, I leave it up to you. See you here at the heliport. Just waves goodbye as we have like three minutes before we explode. Also, I guess there wasn't a timer till now. I like how it's still going on, even though we're in the middle of a cutscene. So it's like, oh, you have three minutes. No, you have, you have you have like less than two and a half, you jerks. So what's gonna happen here? Am I gonna have to do like a puzzle or something in this time? If I do, I'm screwed. What's this? Will you take the flare? Ooh. Maybe that's how I call him. Let me take a look. Let me see. I can signal Brad with this. All right, that's how I do it. Let me do it in the middle of this area. Let's get to the middle. Good enough. <laughs> Just like a bottle rocket. Timer's still going. What's gonna happen? I can't move. Maybe this is just a build tension. Maybe this is all just a giant cutscene. Ooh. Ooh. Hold on. <laughs> Let me equip this. This is like a better weapon. Run. I missed! Hold on. Am I hurt? I'm hurt. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be careful. Ow. What happened? <laughs> I blew it up. Is that it? Did I win?
did it! And so ends Resident Evil, Jill's story. <laughs> Who's Rebecca Chambers? We never saw them. Chris Redfield, Charlie, Jill Valentine, Inith? Gregory, why only first names? Joseph Frost, who's that? Albert Wesker, Eric. <laughs> Just Eric. Oh, <laughs> my heart. All right, so what would have happened if I missed all those rocket launcher shots? Would I have like completely screwed myself? I missed the first one and then I got knocked halfway across the field. <sighs> Looks like they made it up in time. I don't know, we had to do it one at a time. We could have all just went up. Oh well, we did it. Wesker left, he escaped, so sequel bait. <laughs> I mean, there's what? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then like, what are, what are the other ones on that list? Like, zero, Code Veronica, Revelations, Revelations 2. I got 10 more games to play, but we still have to go through the other path. We have to go through Chris's side to see what how he ended up in jail. Actually, yeah, we have to see how he ended up in jail. <laughs> Like, where was he at the entire story? I feel like he was maybe like one step ahead and then he got captured like after we saw Wesker that first time or he was like captured immediately like when Wesker disappeared for the first time. Wesker put him in there, right? I, I, I feel like he should. He, he probably did since he had the passcodes originally. I mean, he was one of the security officers. He knew how to get inside the lab. Then he reset it and then he had the medals. Unless it's like a back door that we didn't know of. <laughs> oh, that was that was like a roller coaster of things. First, Barry betrayed us, then he didn't, then we had to fight the tyrant, then we thought Barry died, and then Barry survived, then we had to run, and then we were timed, and those crawler things were in the hallway, and then we got Chris, and then we left, and then we left Chris and Barry behind as we start getting timed, and then we had to fight the, the, the tyrant again and then blew it up with a giant rocket. Whew. This, this music is, I mean, as, as it says on here about the music. Biohazard Symphony Orchestra, Tempest. Whew. I like how it, I, I forgot about the, the live action cutscene, so it was, I was like confused when it started showing live action people. But then I remember it, it was like, oh yeah, that. At least everyone got out. I think that was the, I. Was that the good ending? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the endings are. All I know is that there was a good ending and a bad ending, because that's all I was told. So, I wonder what the bad ending would have been. Maybe if I wouldn't have... Maybe if I wouldn't have uh, rescued Chris, that might have been a bad ending. <laughs> yeah, kill the animals in this game is the bad ending. Take that, Metroid. Uh, well, this was fun. <laughs> I, I have way more scares than I... Thought I was going to at the end, but yeah. I mean, it's a it's a horror game. I I hate horror games because I get scared so easily. But we still have another a section of this story to play out. So I wonder I want to know what that side is like. Then we'll see what that is, and then we'll move on to the next game, and get scared from that one as well. <laughs> Why did I do this to myself? Presented by Capcom. Maybe this will make me a better person. Like, maybe I'll be less scared of everything after this. Like, to the point where my heart's just cold. <laughs> like, I never get scared ever again, because I can't show emotion. All, all the emotion got scared out of me. Resident Evil. And that's gonna be like, Metal Gear Solid. And it's gonna be like, some talking right now. It's like how there was a double agent. So there was Barry. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Total time. Eight hours and 55 minutes. Number saves. 17. It's not that bad. Is it? <laughs> is it? Is that bad? I don't know. I mean, for 20 episodes, that's like, that's like less than 30 minutes an episode, so that's fine. I wonder how long Chris's story is going to take us. Whew. Well, I mean... They escaped. They know what happened there. So they could reveal it if they don't get assassinated or something. I know Umbrella seemed kind of... Oh, my controller turned off. Seemed kind of incompetent, leaving everything up to Wesker. You've got the special key. Find closet. 
Oh, a key for that door? What's that door for? Sure, let's save. I think the saves are going to go away once I start Chris. Well, I will save that. Where, where's this going to be at? Jill, zero, zero. Oh, I'm just starting over from the beginning. I don't want to do that. <laughs> I don't want to do that now. All right, well. Hey, 20 episodes. That's a nice round number. Maybe Chris's story won't last as long as we see Chris die in this cutscene, apparently. So, uh, we're going to end it here because there's really nothing left to do. Well, we'll be starting Chris's story next episode. And we'll, we'll probably see the cutscene again and then start from where we go. We'll probably, like, try and do the same amount. Maybe more. I mean, we'll, we'll be better suited because <laughs> we'll know what the story's like now. Unless this, this, like, differs a lot. I think it was just... I think I think someone said it was just, like... Eh? <laughs> I, mean, I mean, it was either choose Chris or choose... Oh, what, what's going on? Nope, nope, no. I don't want to see anything. I don't want to see anything. On the next episode of Resident Evil Blind, we'll be doing Chris's story. So, until next time, hopefully you enjoy.